What's up, War Robots fans? This is Solvum coming at you with, uh, I guess, my inaugural YouTube video. Starting with uh, coverage of Dash on the test server this past weekend. It's a little, a little late to the party, uh, but I got some cool stuff nonetheless. If you all have never been uh, testers, you should totally do it. There's nothing like this part right here where you get to cherry pick all the bots and weapons where everything is is level 12 and you don't have to pay any money. <clears throat> Super rad. So uh, there's three things to test. There is Dash, the new bot prototype, uh, then Shenzhen's new start points, and then the accelerated mode and machine guns. It doesn't really do extra damage at the moment, but uh, when you start firing after a second or two, you can totally hear it ramp up and, and, and just wail away. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, what else to say about this? Uh, I'm not really doing any 360 views here, but uh, the robot looks looks super cool. Uh, the people that design these things are just geniuses. These are so so sick. Um, I've got a dash here with Molots, a dash here with Punishers, a dash with Talumbas. A dash with Orkins and a dash with Terrans, and uh, I'm gonna give it a go. See how it see how it goes. So I kind of just made a bunch of highlights, uh, a little uh, gameplay clips here, but just a bunch of highlights so everyone gets a chance. Okay, so here we are, dropping in Yamantu. This is gonna kick ass in Yamantu. I mean, you just jump right in the action with three medium guns. So like instant offense here. And it's just now these were it was hard to kill uh, dashes. These things are gonna be really tough to, to knock down. But you just look at all the the damage you bring. Super fun to play. There's another one. Jump into the ramp. Like watch this, like you gotta get close to do some of this damage. Um so I'm gonna hang out here, let these uh orkins charge back up for a second. And I just wanted to pop that shield and just jump like clear the whole ramp. And then check that out. The red with the dash can just jump on out of there. So just like instant offense, instant defense. I'm gonna say that a lot, but that's just the truth of this bot. steal that beacon. Here we are jumping in a little fire firepower clip but just you know someone comes too far across center smash them with three orkins <clears throat> pop right back behind defense. <laughs> you see that guy hanging up there? Here's another I think it's kind of like a cat and mouse clip so just jumping in shooting the guy Griff took off Back in the defense, I see a lot of red around there. It's dead city ready. Watch this. Boom, in the gap. Smash people like, look at that Griff, has no idea what's going on. Look how slow he looks in comparison. I thought I'd jump out and just blow him up right here. But he jumps out of the way. There's a cloud of smoke, I didn't even realize that he's gone. So Dash on dash play is gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Just jumping right in the spot. Like I'm taking on a fully maxed lance. Uh, this looks like uh, an Ancelork. Ancelots and, and Orkins. And I'm like casually shooting this thing, like not even not even the least bit concerned. Uh, just kind of shoot and look around, back up a little bit, I and mean, honestly, like not even trying. I'm just Blasting through its armor with these three max Terrans. Look, just tons of time. Real game, I probably wouldn't sustain that much damage, but so easy. Okay, so like new techniques. I mean, this is gonna be clutch. Like around corners, I'm gonna try to 
jump around this and shoot. Oh yeah, and it clears this little ledge, so you can just stand behind that and just wail away. So he's jumping in the action. But you're safe. Stepped in the range. <laughs> Back behind cover. So that's gonna be a great spot to bring it out right there and shoot over that corner and Shenzhen. Just playing both sides of the wall, it's just so cool. I like that. Totally thought you were safe and just clear that distance. I think it's like <clears throat> 90 or 100 meters is what you uh, is what you, you, you jump to. Just shredding these bots. <clears throat> And the new start points on Shenzhen are, are interesting. I didn't know where I was when, when it first started. Uh, and I, as long as the old ones stay around, so there's two spawn points, I think that would be, that'd be cool. I mean, it, it definitely is a challenge to, to win from the other side, but you can totally do it. Just it's a map that used to be frustrating to me and <clears throat> No, I really like it. I'll post a video on some Shenzhen tips. I don't even know. If I'm like, yeah, I'm in the same bot here, just hitting everyone with these Terrans. Just roasted that fury. We got some working clips coming up. That said, I think that these these shields are like overdoing it. Like this this bot has to have some kind of some kind of weakness with all this firepower. I mean, it's it's everything that the Fujin wishes it was. You know, fast, nimble. <clears throat> you guys, pretty high uh, HP. I mean, it's I think it's five below the Griffin, which is nuts. So gotta watch out for that I mean I've just how long have I been in this spot like forever just shooting people I think in this game I had like 13 kills or something like that yeah, just jumping in and out of the action it's just too easy okay finally dead all right here comes the organs so I was thinking like you know this would be good as well that you try to jump around the corner and start shooting mid jump, but then uh, land in the middle, but then walk into cover and just kind of bend the Orkins around. So I'm going to try that here. I uh, definitely don't have a master, but it's another fun skill to, to develop with this bot. Alright, I think I'm going to give this one more go. I'm gonna walk a little bit closer. Probably won't be able to shoot through all this Ansel shield, but just trying to practice some new techniques here. Boom, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Just that jump strafe. It's gonna be sick. Boom, jump right on back. Which also brings me to this like this seven second refresh. I think it's way too quick. Like I said, it's gotta have some kind of weakness. There's definitely tons of fun to play. Yeah, so if you're facing one of these things, you definitely want to have the, the Terrans. So you can shoot through that shield. Why don't you just tear this Natasha up? Boom. <laughs> like butter. You're gone. 
I don't even know what that was. Is that a... Uh, I think it was a stalker. Alright, so now we got the Punishers on. Just jump in and start wailing here. <laughs> you spray in every direction. These are cool. I mean, I'm happy to see the machine guns come back. I definitely didn't start playing this in the machine gun era, but I think that they're fun to play anyways. And I love the range of the, of the Molots. I think we've got one clip of those. Just wait for these things to refresh. Back to shooting. Kind of corner shooting around here. I don't know why that guy's just camping out. And that's something you find when you play on the, on the test server that People aren't necessarily trying to win, they're just trying to get a feel for stuff and test things out. Um, so it's kind of like shocking when you first play, you're like, oh, this is weird, what's Red doing? And I think it'd be great for this, this bot to, to make it into the game. I do think that they need to uh, nerf some things about it. Like I said, I think the cooldown needs to be needs to be longer, 10 to 12 seconds, I'd say. I think it's, I think it's, you know, hit points are just below a Griffin for this kind of firepower. Uh, I just don't think it should have an enemy shield. All right, so you know when you're trying to take these things out you know, with missiles. You want, to, you want to stay as far from it as you can because this can just close the gap and uh, start sh start shooting you, <clears throat> especially after all your missiles fire. So you got to pop that shield and then you go in there. And it's like half his energy. But if you're really going to fight this, you want to be as far away as possible. And I'd say the best technique is... The uh, Zeus Fury, and I got a clip of that coming up, and I was just popping these things left and right for Zeus. It's actually super easy, but that's going to mean that now we're going to see tons of Zeus Furies in the game everywhere. It's super fun to play, but I just think that it's too powerful right now, and a lot of people are going to end up hating it because they're going to have to buy one and level it up, and it's just, I think gameplay is going to be super unfair for a while. But if they if they nerf it up a bit, um, it'll definitely be, it'll be powerful, but it won't just run all the players off the map. So, look at this, just too easy, just... Camping out in the Fury. Popping dashes. I'll let this play for a while. Part of the Zeus hit on that one. You're gonna really want to have that that Zeus, this energy weapon on it, because these dashes are so quick. And as Zeus picks up these targets really fast and just you know full payload in one press. But similar to the Griffin, like when you get shot with the tridents, you should instinctively jump to the side once the first trident round hits and you can do the same thing here with the uh with dash you get hit with the trident round just dash left or right and you'll avoid the next two shots and initially i was having a lot of fun zapping these dashes uh, and then comes camp of fatigue where you're like oh man all i'm doing is just sitting back here <clears throat> pressing the red button. It definitely gets pretty easy and boring. Woo woo! 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, then like it up on YouTube, man. Quit playing around. Uh, more coming soon. Stay tuned. Until then, wreck some bots. Peace.